weather. January 18th, 90046. Five degrees and sunny. Ah, 75 degrees and sunny. Hey guys, Jonathan Stewart here for About.com. Most of us wash our heads at least every day or two, so why neglect your second head, or as you may refer to it, your laptop computer? But no matter what you call it, there's a very good chance it could stand to use a good cleaning. Check it out. There are five general parts to your laptop that warrant cleaning. The case, the keyboard, the screen, ports, and vents. To do the job at home, you'll only need a few things. Isopropyl alcohol, some purified or bottled water, a lint-free cloth, and some compressed air if you've got some. And of course, a computer to clean. This is Bork. Bork, like all laptops, is susceptible to dirt, dust, pet hair, and other gooky residue. And the more often you take the time to clean and remove all of it, the less likely you'll run into operational issues with your computer. Well, dirt-related ones, anyway. Start by shutting down your computer and detaching any cables or wires from the main body. Close the cover and use your lint-free cloth to remove any obvious dirt or dust. Next, mix a 50-50 solution of isopropyl alcohol and water into a small spray bottle if you've got one. If not, just dab your cloth into the solution. Make sure you do all of this away from your computer. After all, the last thing you want to do is spill a bunch of liquid on your computer while you're trying to clean it. For the next several steps, use the same alcohol water solution, which evaporates quickly and won't damage your computer. Just remember that if you're dabbing it onto your cloth, go easy so that you don't drip any unintentionally. After cleaning the outer case, open your screen so that your keyboard is exposed. Wipe off all the dust you see and pay close attention to the outer edges where your hands usually sit. Using a fresh cloth, do the same with your screen, being careful not to press down too hard and damage the LCD. If you have a can of compressed air, aim at the cracks between your keys on the keyboard. You might be surprised just how much gunk comes out. After clearing the loose dirt, attack your keys with the cloth as well. Finally, close your case once again and spray a few blasts of air into your ports and vents. Be sure to spray from an angle, especially with your vents, so that you don't inadvertently blow any dirt into your computer. Be sure not to use either paper towels, which can leave behind lint and other fibers, or solutions like window cleaner, which can degrade your display. You might also want to keep things like soda and babies out of the general vicinity of your computer. Then again, kids these days are whizzes on the internets. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit us on the web at about.com.